Is Rafa Marquez out of New York? Matt Beasler's fate and a new face in Dallas next on The Daily. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Daily here with Simon Borg. I'm Nick Fershaw. We're going to start with the biggest news of the day. It involves Rafa Marquez, the New York Red Bulls designated player. ESPN.com down in Mexico reporting on Monday that Rafa Marquez, Simon, could be on the brink of a two-year deal to León, back to Mexico, maybe ending his career in MLS. What do you think? The Red Bulls are not commenting on it when we reached out to them, Nick, but... This is probably as concrete a scenario we've seen around Marquez possibly moving abroad. I put credence in it. ESPN.com in Mexico is reporting it's a done deal. They say the players in Mexico negotiating uh, this. And Leon is one of the uh, best teams in Mexico in the past season. They're going to play in Copa Libertadores. And we know Marquez is still fancies himself a big part of the Mexican national team. So I think this is a big step for him to try to, uh, again, regain that spot. It's so interesting. The Red Bulls don't even have a head coach right now. They're making very, very big moves without a head coach. We asked yesterday on the YouTube comments whether or not you thought Graham Zussi or Omar Gonzalez was a uh, better pick from that 2008 uh, MLS Super Draft. We're, today we'll ask about Rafa Marquez, his legacy in MLS. Red Bulls better off with Rafa or without him? I mean, I think it depends on who they, who they replace him with, Nick, uh, because I think the quality on the ball that he offers, and he's done so much when he's on the field and has been healthy, to me, that's going to be difficult to replace. People can't get over maybe the throwing the ball at Donovan, the ejections, the suspensions, uh, you know, the, the pouting. They can't get over that. That's fine. But on the field, who's going to replace that ability to play make? Uh, I think that's what the Red Bulls are going to miss a lot. Curious to see who they replace him with. Well, let us know what you think. Are the Red Bulls better off with or without Rafa Marquez? You can post your answers in the comments below. Some other rumors here involving Carlos Valdez from the Philadelphia Union, maybe going back to Santa Fe in Colombia on a loan deal. Tim Cahill, there's a ton of rumors uh, surrounding him. Make sure you log on to MLSsoccer.com for all the latest reports. Next up, one face potentially staying in MLS. That's Matt Beasler, the reigning defender of the year and a real stalwart for Sporting Kansas City reports coming out of Kansas City that he's expected maybe to sign a new deal in MLS on Tuesday. What do we expect? Well, that's kind of been the rumors, uh, Nick, lately. And look, this is a great coup for Sporting Kansas City to retain the MLS Defender of the Year. I don't know that the Defender of the Year in MLS has had this kind of scenario where they've been out of contract, all the leverage is on their side, and yet they return. We see, we'll see, you know, what, what the reported salaries are maybe on this new contract, but I expected him to go abroad. I thought everything was... was laid out there for him to now take that Defender of the Year title, the, the new call-ups he's getting to the national team, and maybe take it abroad. Maybe not to an England where it's difficult to get a work permit, yeah. but somewhere in Europe. And at, the, at his age, I think it would have been a prime time right now. Again, it's unconfirmed, but a local kid. This guy is uh, from Kansas, a local kid staying home, it appears, for 2013 and beyond. Last but not least, FC Dallas parting ways with Julian de Guzman in the offseason, and we saw Danielle Hernandez retire. So who's going to play in that defensive midfield role? It looks like Shella Simon and the guys have found a replacement. It's Peter Lucine, a guy who's played in Europe. For fans who don't know him, he's played for PSG, for Marseille, and most probably uh, well, most well-known for Atletico Madrid. But this guy hasn't played a lot in a while. And that's the theme that I think a lot of fans have, have attached to, that Lucine over the last two, three years played like seven games. He was away for the game for two years, returned to play in Switzerland, played seven games for uh, Lausanne. So, you know, what can this guy do? How healthy is it? Uh, he's had injuries throughout his career. Is this the guy that Shellis Heinemann can really depend on to be that, that defensive, the holding midfielder guy? Look, we went through some reports of his time, time with Atletico Madrid. They gave him the nickname the Pitbull. So you figure if, he, if you're a defensive midfielder, that's a good nickname to have. We'll see if he can uh, go back to that form that he had in Spain. 33 years old could be the replacement for, again, Julian de Guzman and Daniel Hernandez down in Dallas. We'll have to see how that shakes out. Speaking of changes, we talked to Gavin Wilkinson, the general manager of the Portland Timbers, on the latest edition of the Extra Time Radio podcast. Had a lot of things to say about the moves they've made and the moves they're going to make. You can catch that on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, and Buzzsprout. And that does it for us. We'll see you again on The Daily tomorrow.